So first, once we switch on the power supply, and we have to adjust the beam voltage to 250 volt. So we will put this knob into voltage mode, and we will adjust this beam voltage knob in the clockwise direction in order to get the 250 volt. 250 volt. So for the good operation of the klystron, we have to set the beam voltage as 250. In between 250 to 300, we can set any range. And you should take care uh, such that the current should be below 30 milliampere. So we have to check the current. Once the current is equal to here, the 14 milliampere is current. So it is in the safe region. So current should not exceed beyond this 30 milliampere in doing the reflex klystron experiment. So next we have to see the output. We have to see the output on the CRO. See in the CRO, the output from this the output from this microwave bench is taken from this detector mount and it is connected in the channel two of the CRO. For seeing the waveform, we have to in the case of here we have selected the AM modulation and the, when we are selecting AM modulation here the output in the CRO will be a square wave. If we are choosing the FM modulation, the output will be a sawtooth waveform. So here we are, actually it is representing the, we are modulating the frequency produced in the reflex klystron uh, by a modulation. Because um, the klystron produces a frequency which is in the gigahertz range and which cannot be, um, which cannot measure or which cannot see on the CRO. So in order to see, see those frequencies in the CRO, we are modulating with the AM so that it can display on the CRO. So once we are um, put it in the modulation knob in the AM, then we have to change the voltage of this modulation by turning this amplitude of this AM modulation button. Similarly, we can change the frequency for getting the correct waveform in the output. So we can set put uh, these knobs in anywhere in between the maximum and minimum so that it should give a maximum power output at the CRO. So here what I am doing is I have to change the repeller voltage so for for seeing the output so I will now this is at the maximum position now I will rotate this knob so that I will get so that I will check whether I am getting the output at the CRO. So you can see here CRO when I am varying when I am varying this repeller voltage, now this ma maximum value is 244 repeller voltage and now I am varying like this and I am checking whether I can see a waveform. So you can see when I am varying, here I am rotating the repeller voltage so I am getting a square wave at the CR. you can see. So this is the, I have to set the maximum voltage, I have to set to get maximum voltage at the CRO so that I am setting here I am getting the maximum uh, voltage on the CRO you can see here this is the maximum voltage if I am changing the ripple voltage again if I am changing the ripple voltage again its amplitude will be reducing so I have to take care to produce a high amplitude wave at the output. So you can see here that you are getting the square wave at the output. So now you got the square wave. And this is the first step to get the output. And next in the experiment of ripple klystron, what we are doing is we have to plot the repeller voltage versus output power curve. See? Here in, the, in this case we have to plot a, a curve between repeller voltage to output power. Similarly we have to plot a graph between repeller voltage to change in frequency. These curves we have to find out. Eh? You can see once again you can look at the CRO. Here when I am changing the 
repeller voltage this is the first mode you are getting this is the first mode you are getting and when i am changing this you can see that its output will be reducing and again there will be a waveform in the crr when i am turning this repeller voltage and this is the second mode i am getting again i am changing the repeller voltage so that you will get the third mode so there will be different modes by changing the repeller voltage so that you will get a different modes you know that when when, when i know rf frequency is produced by the plus plus tone it may travel to uh, travel in different modes so by changing the value of the repeller voltage you will get different different modes and these are different different modes you can see here so we will set a first mode here so we have to take the measure of this first mode so for corresponding this is corresponding to 215 mode here the repeller voltage you can see this is a voltage wave from here and this corresponds to a repeller voltage of 215 volt see here i am drawing a tabular column for taking measurement first is the repeller voltage and first is corresponding to 215 volt this is a repeller this is a negative voltage so for a 215 volt minus 215 volt i have get some output let let this output value will be something and i have actually we have to measure it from the cro and let it be we have to take the measurement 1 2 3 3 corresponds to corresponds to the level 3 into 1 3 3 volt sorry this is time division and voltage division is voltage division is this one 1 by 50 it's actually 50 so we will get by multiplying this 3 into by this quantity we will get the voltage level suppose we are getting the value of that voltage be some power level 3.6 or something let us mark that here and next we will find an another point by changing the repeller voltage that is the nearest highest point so if we are changing this beyond this 215 we will get another point and we have to mark this is the its voltage is lesser comparing to the previous one and you can we can measure beyond 215 now it is 210 so it corresponds to this repeller voltage 210 and there will be we get another amplitude actually i am not taking the correct measurement but you can see in the figure that it is lesser than previous one and again i am varying the repeller voltage beyond this beyond this 215 so that i will get another point here that is beyond so that when we are joining these power points output points we will get a curve like this so you can see that the voltage output voltage is high at this minus 250 and the voltage at this point is lesser than this 215 lesser than this value and if you are taking another value at this point you can see this will be this will be another point and, and this its amplitude is lesser than this maximum one so you will get this like this and again what you have to do is you you have to change the repeller voltage like this now we have three points between 215 210 and let it be 220 or one and next you have to take the you have to decrease the repeller voltage again so that so now the, you can see here that now the repeller voltage is 197 or 196 and you got it. next next there is a point 204 so 204 will be here 204 so and you will get a voltage value here and you can mark a value here at 204 actually its voltage is not uh, measured and you if you are doing the experiment you can measure its correct value and again i am 
change in the repeller voltage so that its amplitude is increased and it will be maximum at a point 200 so at 200 repeller voltage is maximum output voltage is maximum actually i am drawing this voltage here and again i am changing the repeller voltage to another point so at 196 it has got another amplitude that is reduced so i, I will get a point like this so this is another curve corresponding to voltage so you can you will get different different amplitudes by changing this repeller voltage and this first one this first one will correspond to the first mode second is corresponding to the second mode actually this is the voltage value but actually what we want to plot is the output power for getting the output power we have to multiply this voltage with the current okay so we have we want to find out this current value for finding the current value what we are doing is we have to connect a multimeter instead of instead of this CRO connection so we have to take it out and we can connect a multimeter here this is the multimeter and in multimeter you can see with output this is this correspond to negative part and this is the positive part and you will take a probe from the detector mount and its positive and negative is connected to the corresponding probe of this multi corresponding output of this multimeter first of all you have to put the multimeter in the milliampere mode and you have to find the current for that first you have taken the reading at the point 215, 220 and 210 and so you have to set the repeller voltage there. So at the, at the 215 what will be the current? The current is, here the current is displayed as minus 10 milliampere. So you have to draw a tabular column that is corresponding to repeller voltage first one is repeller voltage second is voltage third is current and corresponding to the repeller voltage minus 215 there will be some voltage that is obtained from CRO you have to write that voltage and the current is obtained from the multimeter is minus 0 0.10 milliampere suppose let this voltage be 3.6 volt then power you, you will get the power value by multiplying this 3.6 into minus 0 0.10. Similarly, at the next point is 220. At the 220, you have to adjust this repeller voltage at 220. And you have to measure the CR output in the previous session that is at 220. Let the repeller voltage be 3.4 volt and the current is obtained in the micrometer as a minus 0 0.06 minus 0 0.06 milliampere and you you have to multiply these two quantities that is 3.4 into 0 0.06 you will get the power value similarly you can you can do the same procedure for 210 to 204 repeller voltage 200 and you will get different different values here and you have to multiply these values and you can you will get the power values so by using this power value and repeller voltage value you can plot the graph and here when we plot that graph we got a curve like this that means repeller voltage is plotted against the output power and you will get a plot like this and this is for a single mode and here i have explained for different different modes and you you can and you will get a different different curves corresponding to different different repeller voltage so this is the repeller voltage output power similarly you you have to plot the repeller voltage bar change in frequency plot and for that we have to measure the frequency so here the repeller voltage is minus 215 again you you have set the repeller voltage is minus 215 and you have to connect it connect to the CRO probe here see actually I am replacing this multimeter by this probe like this 
So now at 215, at the 215, see. Here I am setting it as 215. At 215, the output obtained in the CRO is this. So, for measuring the frequency, what we have to do is we have to find the dip in the CRO by rotating the frequency meter. Here is the frequency meter. And for first experimental setup, we will set the, these two black lines at the bottom side. And we have to find a dip in the CRO. For that, we have to rotate it either in clockwise direction or in anti-clockwise direction. So, now you can look at the CRO. Here I am rotating in the anti-clockwise, I am rotating in the clockwise direction. And I will observe whether I am getting any dip. Dip means a reduction in the amplitude. So, here when I am rotating this frequency meter, whether you can find it a dip, see, and instantly rotate it such that at one point you will get a dip. So it will take some time. You should be patient. So one dip is found. You can see here. Okay, this is the first dip. So this is the exact point. That means there is here. This is the amplitude first, and when I am rotating it in the clockwise direction I got the reduction in the amplitude so that I have to find this lock point this is the minimum minimum amplitude position so that I have to stop rotating this frequency meter and I have to take a reading and here you can see look at here there is a red line and it crosses the two black lines here and you can see that we have to take the value of coincidence value that uh, that this right line coincide coincide with the lines in the in between lines in between these black lines you can see here here is a reading 9.84 and here is a, another reading 9.86 between this 9.84 and 9.86 there are three different lines and this second line this right line coincidence coincide with the second line so its value will be 9.845 so the frequency corresponding to this this dip is 9.854 so you can corresponding to minus 215 the frequency will be you, you can see in the tabular column frequency corresponding to minus 215 repeller voltage is 9.845 megahertz sorry gigahertz 9.845 gigahertz similarly this is the first dip and again you can again you can find the other dip by changing the repeller voltage see next repeller voltage is next repeller voltage is 220 volt that is corresponding to this point that is this amplitude at 220 volt what will be the dip so I have to set the repeller voltage at 220 volt this is a repeller voltage is now set to 220 volt and the corresponding waveform is that one and we have to in order to get the output in order to find the next dip I have to rotate the frequency meter so that at one point the amplitude of the waveform will reduce so so this is the point where the amplitude is reduced that means so when we are rotating the frequency meter a dip is found here so we have to measure that frequency so now the frequency is here the coincident is coinciding line is between 9.48 and 9.5 and the frequency now will be 
we have to take the division here the, uh, the line coincident with the second line so one line will have a value point point zero zero point zero two five so this value will be nine point four nine point five zero five so this frequency value will be nine point five zero five that means we have to take the values of each and every division so that we will get the correct value so this is the way we obtain the different frequency value now so we can plot the graph between repeller voltage and change in frequency and you will get to see here is the experiment in the experimental setup when we are taking different repeller voltage and we have to mark the different frequencies change in frequencies so you will get a curve like this this is the curve so that's all about this experiment thank you